YouTube and welcome back to another episode of That Savage Kitchen. And on today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make some avocado toast. Yes, some avocado toast. Trust me, this is gonna be a delicious recipe. It's a simple recipe. And I love making this recipe when I gotta go somewhere real quick or I wanna rush and get out the house if I wanna eat. I don't wanna spend that money. We don't got, we, why spend money if we can make the food at home? Simple. But hey, other than that, let me ask you, how are you doing today? Has anyone asked you that? They haven't? Make sure you leave a like. Tell me how you're doing in the comments below. But other than that, let's get started on this recipe and let's go. What's up guys and welcome back. First, we gonna get started with that avocado, the main ingredient. So your boy got these avocados a while back, but I forgot. So you already know when I cut it up, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> but when I opened it, it was doo-doo brown, bro. But it's okay because your boy got the second one. I got a second avocado, so I cut it up just like the first one. And I bought these a while back too. So when I open it, doodle -doo brown just like the first one, bro. You can tell how sad I am the way I'm holding it. But, bro. Huh. All right, so now we off to the store, as you can see, to get some fresh avocados. At That Savage Kitchen, we all about that fresh ingredients. Don't at me, bro. Don't play with me. You already know fresh ingredients. All right, so we at the supermarket getting that fresh avocado. I saw this one, this one looked beautiful, so I got it. I actually got two of them, got back, just in case one was doo, -doo brown, but they shouldn't be, because they from the supermarket. But we gonna see, so we gonna cut that avocado, and let's take a look. A little snap, a little snap action right there. And yo, of course it's gonna be fresh, it's from the store. I don't know why I'm so surprised about that. But yeah, we gonna get our little spoon and we gonna make some guacamole. Fun fact, your boy used to work at Chipotle for a year and a half now. But if you want that Chipotle style video or some Chipotle style guac, hit me up, comment down below and tell me that y'all want that video and I'll make it. But right here, I'm not making that. I'm just making my type of guacamole. But yeah, smash it up, make a little mess like that. But it's okay, cause we gonna make some good guacamole. All right, so I add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, add a little lime. This lime tried to run away from me, but nah. <laughs> Psych, squeeze that lime juice and start mixing it up. Add your onions and make sure your guacamole sound like this. If it don't sound like that, you messing up. I'm sorry. Now we're going to season it. Put some salt. Put some pepper up in there. Put some onion powder. Put something to cover it up. I'm using a baggie. Don't waste a baggie like me, though. But look at your boy. Just starting stuff. Luckily, no one was home because your boy did break some. But, hey, my parents are watching this. I'm sorry. I'll pay y'all back. But, hey, now we're going to get our avocados. We're going to cut it thin. Get you a little piece, a little snack. Now, we're going to work on these tomatoes. Gather all your tomatoes up, and we're going to cut them like these. Simple. Y'all ain't two years old. Y'all know how to cut. So do it like that to all your tomatoes, and we good. Gather all your tomatoes into a bowl because now we're going to add some salt, and we're going to season it. Add some black pepper, too, and add a little bit of olive oil. I like to add olive oil in mine because now we're going to stir it up and mix it. Get you a pot. Hot. Hot pot. Put some coconut oil. You don't have to. I love coconut oil. It gives it so much flavor to the cherry tomatoes because we're going to make a jam with it, too. So your boy was actually going crazy in the kitchen. I had the heat up, no care in the world, and flames were going. Dang. After we cook our tomatoes, we're going to work on our bread. So get some sourdough bread. If you know this channel, you already know your boy loves sourdough bread. Ooh. Check out that grilled cheese video if you haven't. So now we're going to take our bread, do a little magic, and cut it up like that. Yeah. So cut it up. Get you a little bit of butter. Get the pieces that you want. So I'm going to use two pieces. I'm doing two different egg style avocado toast. One scrambled and one over easy. So make sure you use up all of that butter every drop. All right. After whatever that was, get your bread. Get the butter bread and put it down onto your pan. I actually added garlic butter or garlic onto my bread because I like it like that, bro. I want a little flavor in my bread. And no, it is not burnt. It's just the garlic. So don't play me. So now we're going to get one of our eggs. And yo, this egg was pale, which is why I froze. But I read that chickens have diets. And if they eat more white corn than yellow corn, the paler the egg. So this chicken had a type. I've never seen an egg yolk so pale. We just bought these. 
All right, so we're gonna mix up our eggs. And now what I like to do is I like to add heavy whipping cream and a little bit of ricotta cheese to my eggs. Yes, it is very good and it's very flavorful. It's gonna make the eggs very creamy. So now we're gonna get some butter, stir it up. After you get your butter, add your egg mixture. So I'm gonna add it and as soon as you add it, you have to stir it up. We're gonna whip it up. It's gonna make it super creamy and we want some creamy eggs for our toast. Now we're gonna assemble it. Get your toasted toast. And now we're gonna put our little creamy eggs on top. Now we're gonna take some black pepper, season it, get some salt, and then we're gonna add our little thin avocado slices. Now add your little cherry jam that you made. And now we're gonna add some red pepper flakes, bruh. Then I add a little pepper and some salt for my avocado and my cherries. Now onto the superior toast. Bro, they probably be eating this in California. If you from California, comment down below and tell me if this is true. I know y'all are crazy for y'all's avocado toast. So now get you an egg, bro. Put some olive oil in there. Let that egg cook. But what I like to do to my eggs, I like to little, make little slits in them. So when I flip it, I'm not risking my egg yolk cracking. All right, bro, that egg actually splattered into my eye, bro. The oil, it was so hot, it was burning, bro. This egg wasn't playing. All right, so now on to making the assembly. So now we're gonna get our guacamole that we made, get out the fridge, and we're gonna put a thick layer on top. Now take your cherry tomatoes that we made and add a good coating. Now take that beautiful egg, bro. The crunchiness of the egg, bro. Now we're gonna add some black pepper and some red pepper flakes, and there we go. Now, there's only one thing left to do, which is taste it. Bro, y'all hear that crunch? All right. So, yo, this was good, but I don't like scrambled eggs on my toast. But, hey, we on to the main one. Look at that egg with the runny yolk. Oh, look at the yolk just running. Now we got to taste it, bro. And that was amazing. You can taste the flavor from the limey guacamole, the crunchy egg, and bread and the coconut flavored tomato. Hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe and comment down below if you made it. Before y'all go, real quick, your boy reached 200 subscribers. Hopefully by the time I upload, I only need two more. So I know we got it. But yo, thank you guys for so much support. Thank you guys for helping your boy out. It has always been my dream to be a YouTuber, but sadly I started late. But I don't care, we still gonna do it. It's better late than never. So thank you guys for helping your boy out and I appreciate y'all so much. Other than that, I'm out.